We're celebrating Black History Month by shining a light on pivotal figures who made an incredible impact on our country. Virginia native Dr. Gladys West is one of those figures, a hidden figure, in fact, whose contributions to science went unrecognized for decades because of her race and her gender. But now reporter Leland Pinder speaks with her family about her remarkable journey. A retired Navy mathematician, Dr. Gladys West, is credited with being part of the team whose work led to the development of the global positioning system, better known to just about everyone, everywhere, as GPS. It's such a, a great legacy. At 92, Dr. West is no longer doing interviews. Her grandson, Andre Jones, spoke with me on her behalf, as did her biographer, Marvin Jackson. It Began With a Dream was published last year. This woman had so much knowledge and uh, was just such a beautiful person. Gladys May Brown was born in 1930 during the Great Depression in Dinwiddie County. Her father, a tobacco farmer, she and her siblings worked the fields in the mornings, went to school, and worked the fields in the evening. But from a young age, little Gladys was determined this would not be her position for the rest of her life. Her mother was uh, talked to her about, you know, she said, you know, you're very smart. Uh, and you can do all kinds of things. You can do anything, but you have to get an education. West was always number one in her classes. In high school, she was valedictorian and earned a scholarship to present-day Virginia State University. One thing that she really taught me was that your education does... It doesn't separate you from others, but it gives you a lot more opportunities. At VSU, she studied mathematics, earning her degree in 1952. She went back earning a master's in 1955 after teaching in segregated Virginia public schools. In 1956, a call from the Naval Service Warfare Center, as it's known today, in Dahlgren, Virginia. Jackson says West was skeptical and initially turned down the interview. They got back to her and said, hey, come on anyway, we're going to hire you because your qualifications are so good. She was only the fourth black person to be hired there. The third, Ira West, the man she would marry the following year. There were certainly challenges along the way. People had funny ideas about her because it was their first time dealing with integration, just like it was, but she said she had funny ideas about working with them because she had never worked with a white person before. But West persevered, and it wasn't long before her work began to speak for itself. She was always on the top teams, continued to get promoted numerous times as well. West was admired for her ability to solve complex math equations by hand. She eventually began programming computers. She went on to work on multiple high-level projects, including one which led to her work laying the groundwork for GPS. Jackson says West had no idea of the significance her work would ultimately play in something so transformative. When she found out what it was going to become, she was like, oh, my gosh, you know, <laughs> uh, she couldn't believe it. In 2018, she was honored by the Virginia legislature and also inducted into the Air Force Space and Missile Pioneers Hall of Fame. In 2021, she was awarded the Prince Philip Medal by the Royal Academy of Engineering. So how does Dr. West feel about all this recognition so late in life? She said it's better now than never. So she said now that they're getting it right, um, some other women will get uh, acknowledged too. Work hard, outwork everyone else, no excuses, and a strong work ethic. Just a few traits and a way of thinking Jones has inherited from his grandmother, in addition to an amazing legacy. You know, for my daughter, it's it's awesome to think that, you know, she'll be able to write papers about her great-grandmother, and I'll never forget where I've come from. Um, and I can look back and see where she came from as well and, and see the fruits of her labor pay off. Mm. And can you even imagine the world right now without GPS? Oh, thank you, Dr. West. That was Leland Pender reporting. Now, Dr. West went on to earn another master's degree and earned a Ph.D. at the age of 70. For all of her work and accomplishments, we're told she doesn't even use GPS. The rest of us certainly do. She preferred, actually, old-fashioned paper maps. Incredible life story.